Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Today I'm going to talk about a slider for WordPress that I discovered not so long ago. Uh, I was doing a job for someone, helping someone to create a website. He had some kind of a problem. He wanted to create a page where the entire page was on one single layout without multiple page. So technically one page and every single page was like a slider. So the only way to do it was to create like a slideshow. And each page or each slide will contain the page that the customer wanted. And I discovered the picture. And I think, you know, there are two versions. Uh, usually you store this one with a template called Flox. Again, they're both free and premium. It's up to you if you want to use the f uh, free version or the premium version. I'm going to show you the free version. And I'm using as well Elementor to incorporate the pages. It's very simple. I'm not going through a lot of the details. All I'm going to do is just show you how I stole it, how I'm going to uh, create the first uh, slide, even though I'm going to import in a pre-made ones. There are about well over 150 pre-made uh, tem you know, templates. And we're going to use Elementor to incorporate the short code. That's it. Simple as that. So before we start, don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. So now, without any delay, let's go and let's start. Right. So again, you can install anything you really want. Again, as long as it's free. Again, if you want to go to the premium, you can actually buy it on, I think it's on uh, Vim Forest, this particular one. But again, you know, you can have the actual premium version. The actual plugin I want to show you is if we go back to, well, I shouldn't go back, but if you go to plugins and we go to bundle, you can find the picture. And this is the one I am talking about. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to install the plugin. So the plugin is being installed and activated. Let's go back to plugins. Let's have a look. And as you can see, the actual plugin has been activated. Right, let's go to the plugin page. Here we go. This is the actual dashboard for the picture. Again, you can upgrade the Pro or you can actually do it with a free. And this is exactly what we're going to do now. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a slider. Again, you can actually import a slider if you have already made it and you want to import it here. Or maybe somebody else done it for you. So let's start. And here you got some already made templates. There are quite few. There are many that are pro, as you can see here. New ones are added very, very. Some of them are actually added on a weekly basis. So it is all right now to go and have a look. As you can see, there are about 158 in total. You can start from blank, or you can already, as I said, import a pre-made one. I'm going to do just the first one here. I'm going to import it. You can preview it if you wanted to. All right. This one also contains some pro features. Again, you can actually update or you can actually remove the pro features from this slider if you want to. You can do that. So I'm going back to, I'm going to proceed to the editor and I'm going to click X as I don't need that. Now, if I'm going to publish it and I'm going to publish changes, here we go. Also, the short codes that I can actually add to Elementor or any pages, really. Uh, you don't need Elementor to do that. You can actually do it with any other page builder. And you also got P uh, the actual PHP code that you can actually insert, okay? I'm going to copy the first short code here. Now, done that, that's been published, all right? Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, let's see, Without leaving that page there, I'm going to go to Pages. I'm going to go to Home Page. I'm going to click on Edit. I'm going to edit with Elementor. There we go. I'm going to remove that here. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add this structure, only one. Yeah? Make sure it's full. So full width, no gaps. Right. For now, we just leave it as it is there. All right. And I'm going to the widgets and I'm going to search for the picture. I think there is the picture. Here we go. And we're going to add it. Select the slider. I can edit from here. Click it. 
and as you can see it's already there now let's have a look at the actual page how it looks to people right so again i'm going to copy another i'm going to open another tab here so you can actually look how it looks pages uh let's say view and as you can see that works pretty well and the actual slider works like a charm you got multiple pages you can actually add videos you can actually add images is up to you all right and everything can be animated and this is for free that is on a free version okay so once you when i published it published with the actual free version the pro settings were automatically removed as far as i understand that okay now what is the beauty of this i was working on a project and someone said i would like to have a full page no menu no logo well the logo is he wanted the logo at the end but we could do it on the actual image here you can actually add images if you wanted to but let me show you the way we done it so let's go back because we already done this all right we need to remove the lot here so if we go back to to the actual page right so i'm going to apply that i'm going to leave it that so now to make sure that is full page i'm going to click on the default the template and i'm going to choose elementor full width and i'm going to click update this is all it needs for me to refresh and it looks like it's not been done i don't know why let's do it again no actually my mistake sorry elementor canvas that's what we need and i think what i need to also do if i go back to users i want to edit this one here and i'm going to also remove the bar on top update profile and now if i refresh that as you can see we got a full screen now we got to make sure we got something else done let's go back to pages and let's go back to edit with elementor the actual page so now we can actually see what it looks like so if i click on the section we got full width we got no gap and the height we need to change fit screen or minimum height i usually use minimum height change the pixel to vh and i'm going to add 100 so it doesn't matter which screen you see it on it will be full screen let's go back here let's refresh and as you can see the page of course is not the same screen of my monitor resolution but you can do that by changing the actual resolution of the slider in fact if you go that's the reason why i didn't close this up if i go back as you can see this is set as cover at the moment i'm going to set as stretch and then i'm going to publish again and i'm going to publish changes now without changing the short code without changing nothing that's exactly what i've done i published the actual changes i'm going to refresh all right guys and now it looks that it works okay now let me explain to you what happened as you can see now we have full screen again we got the bar on the right here and i'm going to show you a little trick with the css let's go back here what i can do if i go back to, anyway this be done let's go back to the wordpress dashboard i'm going to appearance customize and i can actually add a little line in css that i'm going to show you to hide the scroll bar so i'm going to go to additional css i usually use overflow but you can actually do webkit and let's publish and see what happens display none been done let's go back here and as you can see the scroll bar is gone and again if i do press f11 i can go to full screen this is exactly the way the customer wants it and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial i know it went a little bit on and on i'll try to in my edits i usually cut anything and everything so it'd be as short as possible so thanks guy for joining me today
I hope you enjoyed it again the video don't don't don't, don't forget to like and subscribe share the video if you liked it if you know someone may be interested in one of my tutorials that will help me a lot with the actual algorithm so i'll see you next time